Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yasirli amri, wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu qawli, rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you all, brothers and sisters. Today is one of the coldest day of the winter. Huh? The wind chill is uh, minus 20, 25, so it's really, really cold. I'm glad uh, you could make it today, alhamdulillah. We start from where we left yesterday, brothers and sisters. Lesson number uh, three. Page 36, exercise number 10. Huh? It's takhrij. What kind of a verb is this? Form 10. Fine. Now, this is the way we go. Form, then we say, possible, bab, istif, alu. Istif, alu. So what will happen? This thing, the pattern of bab will stay in your mind. Huh? Then you won't... Uh, you know, you will be fast in identifying. The next thing, is it Madi, is it Mudarya, is it Amar? Huh? If it is Mudarya, then is it Marfu, Mansub, Majzum? Huh? If it is Majzum, why? All these things come, should come in succession in our mind. Istakhraj is fail Amar. What is the Madi? Istakhraja. Uh, what is the root? Kharaja, see? Huh? Istakhraj means take out. Minad darsi afal al mabniyatan lil majhul wadkur naib fa'ili 
Kulli wahidin minha. We did that. Huh? We, while we were studying, we were conscious of that and we were noting it down. Number 11. Yuvajihu. What is Yuvajihu, brothers and sisters? Huh? It is passive voice? Form 2. Form 2. Form 2. Huh? No, I heard passive voice and form 5. So this is Vajjaha. What is the verb? To direct, to direct something. Yuvajihu. Huh? Yuvajihu al mudarisu. Mudaris directs. Ila kulli talibin as aswal. Means she directs that question to them. You know? Fi ayyi amin wulitta. For yujibu talibu. What is yujibu? Everything madi mudaria should come to our mind. Yujibu. This is mudaria. Form. There is no shadda here. Form 4. Okay, what is the Mahdi? Ajaba. What is it? Ajaba Yujibu. To answer. And Yujibu Talibu and the, the student uh, answers. Kailan saying. Uh, saying. Kailan saying. Wulitu Ama Kaza. So and so. Lil Hijri or Lil Milad. Badian. What is Badian? Beginning. Uh, it comes from Bada. Uh, Badian. This is Ismu file, huh, brother. Kailan is also Ismu file, but they are Mansub. Uh, okay. Badian bil adadil adna. Adna means the uh, small number, uh, the lowest number. So. Uh, here is the example in that uh, lesson, brothers and sisters. I will point out to you. You should make a note of it. Fi ayyi amin bulitta anta ya Ahmad. What is the answer? Bulittu ama. And then the smallest number. Sabatin. Seven. Wasatina. Sixty, but this emiatin, nine hundred. Wa alfin, nineteen hundred. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, you started with the smallest number, and then you went to the next, and then you went to the hundred, and then you went to the thousand. So this is the best way of uh, expressing the year. You start with the smallest number. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is the meaning of Badian Bil Adadil Adna. Adna is a very interesting word. You will be surprised when we study this word later on in Book 3. It's a very beautiful word. And, brother, just to throw you an, an idea. The dunya comes from adna. The word dunya comes from adna. But we'll study it later on, inshallah. Number 12, brothers and sisters, very simple. To zaful alifu wal lamu min al alamil muqtarini bihima indal nidai. What is the idea? That when you are calling somebody, huh? The alif and lam is dropped huh? from the name, which is already joined with alif lam. Huh? Look at here, brothers and sisters, muktarini. What is muktarinu? Mu has come. So either it is ism file or it is mafool. But muktari, so it is ism file. Now we figure out what form of verb it is. Huh? See, we are training our mind now. 
on all these things, you know. Remember, I have said many times, you will be able to identify each and every verb in the Quran. You may not know the meaning because we have to make an effort to learn the vocabs in the Quran, but at least you will know how the verb was made or what is the root, is it madi, mudariya, amar, ism file, ism maful, master, you will be able to know. Form 8, so what is the verb? Uh, iktarana. What is the verb? Iktarana, yakta, rinu, means to join or connect. Huh? Iktarana, yakta, rinu, mukta, rinu. Huh? Means uh, it is joined. Uh, the, pro, the name is joined uh, with Alif and Lam. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The Hima. Hima goes to Alif and Lam. Hmm? Okay. Now that, what is joined, Alif and Lam is joined, it is dropped. Uh, when you call somebody. Are you with me? So, Nah. Example, Al Hasanu. So what will you say? Ya Hassan. So we dropped elephant now. That's all. There is to know. Ya Hussein. Okay. Ya Hussein. From uh, Al Hassan, it became Ya Hassan. And Al Hussein became Ya Hussein. Al Zubair became Ya Zubair. Al Haris became Ya Haris. Al Bara became Ya Bara. That's all. So in other words, you dropped Alif and Lam. When you added Harfunida Ya. Got the idea, brother and sister? Sister Nasri? This is very easy. Huh? And Nasbu. But then, watch the spelling. It is seen and not Swad. Huh? Okay? Swad has a different meaning. Okay. This is, you know, to create a relationship. Uh, by adding ya to a noun. Okay? Ilhaku. Okay, fine, brother. What is ilhaku? Ilhaku. Master, mashallah. Sister Hafza, now tell me what is the verb? Alhaka. What is it? Alhaka. Ilhaq is if al. If al. If al. I am hoping that our young sisters, you know, one day will become scholars and will write books, <laughs> inshallah. Huh? Because you are, your mind is now becoming sharp, you know. Alhamdulillah, but it gives me immense pleasure when I hear your answers, you know. el haq is if'al. So it means it is the pattern of bab if'al, which is form four. Huh? So... Elhaku is coming from Alhaka. Same thing to join. Okay. Ya'i. Elhaku Ya'i. Mudaf Mudaf Ilihi. Ya'in. Mushaddadatin. Mushaddadatin. What is this? Mushaddadatin. Shaddada. Form 2. Shaddada. And this is mushadda. So it's a maful. It's just maful. Fine. Fi akhir al ismi li tadullu ala nisbatihi. To indicate its relation to it, you know. Nahwa. Al Hindu. What is Al Hindu? India. Min al Hindi. Ana min al Hindi. I am from India. Anta min al Hindi. Anti min al Hindi. You know, we read this in our lessons. So Al-Hindu is India. Now how do we call Indian? A person from India? Hindi Yun. So what did you do? You added a Ya. But what kind of a Ya? Mushaddada. Huh? You added Ya Mushaddada. Fine. So if you are from Guyana, how, do, how will you define yourself as Guyanese? Guyani Yun. Guyani Yun. If you are from Misr, uh, Misri Yun, Suri Yun. Are you with me, brother and sister? Pakistani Yun, Afghanistani Yun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Uh, so this is the 
job of the ya mushaddada it creates a relationship al iraq iraqi yun unsub make a relationship ila al asma al atiati the following nouns brother a sudan sudani yun this is very easy al yaban yabani yun okay nahu grammar so grammarian nahu vi yun nah vi yun nah vi yun okay i'm leaving nabi later for later on al kuwait kuwaiti yun okay adinu dini yun so you have to before ya give a kasra okay at tarikhu tarikhiyun tarikhiyun before ya comes a kasra now comes al akh akh vi yun no here wow you don't see wow in al akh but the wow comes when you give a nis this part ha akh vi yun okay brotherly okay and from nabi nabawiyun so this is little different from the normal and abu abawiyun fatherly ha huh? are you with me brothers and sisters this is not difficult inshallah you will uh, keep this in mind no? is takhrij min ad-darsi amsilatan lin nasbi what was in the lesson with ya mushadda bagista ni yun isan anta anta isan pakistani yun you remember okay fine aina wulita wulitu fi pakistan anta isan pakistani yun then you are pakistani fine brother is there anything else rawahu al bukhari what is al bukhari it is al bukhari you huh? means he was from bukhara Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. And Nabawiyun, fine, brothers and sisters. Here is something else to keep it in mind. We are used to Ukhra. Huh? Ukhra means other, but Ukhra is a monas. Huh? What is the jama of Ukhra? Ukharu, and Ukharu is also diptot. So keep that mind. Wa hiya mamnuatun min asar means it is a diptot. Kala taala. فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيدًا أَوْ أَلَى سَفَرٍ فَإِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَامٍ أُخَرَى See why أُخَرَى? Dipto. أَيَامٍ is مَجْرُور So أُخَرَى here is also مَجْرُور But it did not decline fully. Is it clear brothers and sisters? Now there are more explanation in the key of book 3. I urge you to read the key whenever you get an opportunity. Keep it next to your bedside. Right? Whenever you get an opportunity, read page or two of the key. It will just give you more in-depth uh, knowledge, brother and sister. I found book three key fantastic help. Fantastic help, brother. Doctor Sir, uh, Doctor Abdurrahim has. you know really done us a great favor by writing the keys inshallah okay now brothers and sisters here is number 16 taammal fi'l amrin mabniyun ala sukun form 5 bab i will say tabassum just to make it easy brothers and sisters fine yastatiu tastatiu astatiu what is this brother This is five in your pocket. What is the madi? Istata. Yesterday we did it. Huh? Remember, I had written. Let us conjugate. Yastati u, yastati ani, yastati una, tastati u, tastati ani, and then yasta tiana, yasta tiana. That was correct. And then anta, tastati u. Tastati ani, tastati una, and anti. Tastati ina, yes. Tastati ina, that is correct. And then 
tastati'ani and then antunna tastati'ana tastati'ana only in mutaharik pronoun which is hunna and antunna change will take place because it will be iltikai sakinaini meeting of the two sukuns okay alhamdulillah what is the meaning of istata'a he was able to or he can. Huh? We did it yesterday a little bit, brothers and sisters. So, here is number one. Man yastatiyu ay yaktuba darsa ala saburati bi khattin wadihin. Translation, brother. Who is able to write on the blackboard with clear, nice handwriting? Are you with me, brother? Who is able to? Huh? Who can? Who can write? Fine, mother sister. Atastatiyun and tasuka shahinatan ya zubair. Brother Abdul Samad, you translate this. Can you, uh, you, can you, are you able to? Saka yasuku. What is the meaning of saka yasuku? Drive. Eh? What is the isam file of saka? Saikun. What is the meaning of saikun? Driver. 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 Huh? So, Brother Abdul Samad, Atastatiyu and Tasuka Shahinatan. What is Shahinatan? Truck. <laughs> Are you with me? Can you drive a truck? <coughs> ya Zubair? I'm sure Brother Abdul Samad can. <laughs> okay. Fine. Did you understand, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, here is another word here which is so common in Urdu language, you know. Hadhi risa la, hadhi risa la, tu, tu, hadhi muftida. A risa la, tu, badal, mashallah. Bi khattin radiin. What is radiin? Not good. It's not, it's not good, brother. I mean, you said, you say uh, in Urdu, ye cheez raddi hai. It means bekar hai. It is of no value. Huh? Raddi. But it is raddi um. Very common word in Urdu language. Raddi hai. Means it, it's of, uh, it's no good, of no value. Fine. So, but raddi un is Arabic. Okay. Hadhihi rasalatu bi khattin radin Means it is... In a terrible handwriting. Terrible handwriting, brother. La astatiyu an akraha. Translation? I am not able to read it. I can't read it. Atastatiyu an takraha anta ya bara. Read this, huh? Okay, fine. Uh, uh, well, who are the notorious for this kind of a handwriting? Doctors. <laughs> Only they can read what they write, you know. Yes, true, very true, correct. Radiyan is the naat for khatin. Khatin is handwriting. Are you with me? Khatin is handwriting. Alhamdulillah, you, you understood it, brother. MashaAllah. Now, anti. Atasta tiina antagsali hadihil mala bisa. Al-yawm ya layla. How will you translate? Are you able to wash these clothes today? Huh? Or can you wash these clothes today? Or are you able to wash? Alhamdulillah. You got it, huh, brothers and sisters. You got it. Here comes ta'ammal ma yali. Ponder what follows. Salla. What is salla? Form two. Madi. Huh? Okay. Yusalli mudariya, mudariya. And then salli amar. Allahumma salli ala. This is where we always hear this uh, verb, but we never understand because we don't know the language. Every day we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. We say every day, brother. Salli is the amar. Means send your blessings on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on his progeny. Eh? And then we say on his companions. 
and on his wives. Ajma'een, inshallah. Huh? Okay, this is what we every day say, brothers and sisters. Okay, now here is a question that I was put by one of the students. Kutila Umaru Bahua Yusalli Bin Nasi. Okay, so what is this Yusalli? Is it Majuhul? Wahua Yusalli. It is Hal. But what is this verb Yusalli? Budariya. What is Mahdi? Salla Yusalli. Salla Yusalli. So it is Mudariya. Inshallah, we are going to learn it. Huh? I don't want to go in too much detail now. Huh? Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it can get a little confusing. Because right now, we are understanding the majul form of fail sulasi. Huh? So let us stay with it. And inshallah, in our next uh, two, three sessions, we will come across this. And it's very easy. Everything, like yesterday we did it, if you remember. Uh, what was this? Samma Yusammi, same form, brother. Salla Yusalli, Samma Yusammi. Huh? And what was the majul of Samma? Summiya. Okay, let me write it down again to refresh your memory. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Samma Yu Sammi. Remember, we did it in detail yesterday. It is Salla Yusalli. Now make majhul huh? summiya. What is it? As soon as you gave Ain Kalima Kasra, Ya became visible. Huh? Summi. When there was a Fatah, Ya changed into Alif. Huh? Summiya. Huh? I will have to give Fatah. Okay, and then, brothers and sisters, Yusammi is your. Uh, fail lil uh, ma'alum and make it majhul got the idea brother? now what is the trick I told you the trick yesterday I'm deliberating stretching them. For Ila, in Mahdi, uh, Dr. Sahib is explaining in a very nice way. He says, Ma Kabla Akhirihi. What is before the end? But I, you know, I observe and I see that every time the Ain Kalima comes at the end, before Lam Kalima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is your. Lam Kalima, this is your Ain Kalima. In Mahdi, in Majhul, Ain Kalima will get a Kasra. Are you with me? And anything before it will get a Dhamma. If there is a Sukun, those say Sukun se rehne de. <laughs> Don't touch it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? That is the formula for formula for Mahdi. So see, Samma, where is the Ain Kalima? Me. Huh? And so we make it a Kasra, me, and anything before is Dhamma. So how many words are there? Only one. So it became Summiya. Sahi? Huh? Summiya. Okay. We will get more examples later on, inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, Yufa Alu. Now in the Mudariya, the Ain Kalima will get a Fatah. It's a rule, fixed rule for Majhul. Are you with me? And, and before it, we will start with Alamatu Mudariya, which will get a Dhamma. So that is fine. But anything else will get a Fatah. Are you with me? 
And if there's a sukun, let it stay in peace. Don't touch it. Are you with me? This is a formula, brother. If you keep that in mind, inshallah, uh, you will find things are not difficult. The only difficulty is that we are not very much used to majhul. But now that we understand, and Dr. Saab will bring it in the dars, so you will be able to understand it. That's it, brother and sister. So, you for alu, ain kalima is a fata. Everything fata before it, except the alamatu mudahari. Huh? And here, everything kasra, okay? And before it, dhamma. Huh? Remember this formula, brothers and sisters, and inshallah we will be able to do this. If there is a sukun, leave it in peace. Don't touch it. Are you with me? If there is a sukun, let it be there. But if there is a mutaharik letter, it will change into fata in mudariya. And in mahdi, okay. Now, since you are all very anxious, I'm, I'm going to do one thing. Very nice verb. And then we are going to do later on. It comes in the Quran. Brothers and sisters. Watch this, huh? No, I was not supposed to do this, but there is no harm in it because when it comes later on in the dars, you already have a good idea. Tawaffa. What form is this? Huh? It is coming from waffa. Huh? Okay. And you know the word wafa, yeah. faithfulness, yeah. it comes from, from the base form. Tawaffa huh? means he caused him to die. What is the meaning of it? He caused him to die. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Also, it means to settle your account properly. To settle the account properly. So Allah is going to settle our account properly, whether you like it. Or you don't like it. Huh? That is the sunnah of Allah. That he will settle your account. And he'll be, very, he'll be just. Okay? If you have wronged yourself, the punishment is equal. But if you have done some good deeds, then the reward is tenfold. Now this is his sign of being merciful and rahim and rahman. Okay, brother and sister, tawaffa. Make it into mudariya. Farm five, fata, fata, fata. Farm six, fata, fata, fata. Yatawaffa. Ya tawaffa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yatawaffa. Now, brother Abdul Samad, I want you to make Amar out of it. Drop the ya. Okay. Uh, Rabbana Inana Samiana Munadi Yay Yunadi Lil Iman and Aminu be Rabbikum for Amanna Rabbana Fagafirlana Zanubana Wakafir Anna. Sayyi Atina Wa Tawafina Okay Wa Tawaf Na Maal Abrar Wa Tawafina Maal Abrar Brother, this is such a beautiful dua. Can you can you imagine a Muslim is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cause me, let me die? We are praying that, Ya Allah, give me a death. People want to live and I'm asking for the death? No. A Muslim is never afraid of death. Because he knows the time is set. When his time is set, he has no, he has no choice. For me, it could be this afternoon or this evening. Or tomorrow. I have no choice there. It's all set. 
So sometimes we, we grieve too much and we forget that the life and death Allah has kept in his hand. If he causes you to die, that's it. You will die. So why should we have fuss? You know, why should we grieve? Of course, it's a loss. But we must understand that this is the way Allah has given us life. And this is the way he is going to take it away. Whenever he wants it. And the time is all fixed. So we are praying, brothers and sisters, وَتَوَفْنَا مَا الْعَبْرَارِ let us analyze this. This is a dua. Tawaffa fi'alu amrin mabniyun ala adfi harfi illa. Where is the file? Mustatir taqadiruhu anta. And who is anta? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is this na doing here? Mafuli. Means, oh Allah, cause me to die. Huh? But how? Mal abrar with the people who are pious. And the abrars, you know, the people who are pious, they are the muqarrabins. They will be the closest to Allah. So I want to be closest to Allah. And I'm praying, Ya Allah, if you cause me to die, I'm ready. But let me die with the people who are pious. Means I must become pious. Huh? I must be very pious when my time comes to Depart from this world. And you know, we say, also this is Arabic, that so and so, uh, intikal. What is it? Uh, we take the meaning of intikal as death. Uh, in Urdu, we say, uska intikal ho gaya. Uh, but intikal means you change the residence. That's all. You didn't die. You just changed your residence. Intikal. Okay, tell me the word, brothers and sisters. Intikal. First, tell me what is the pattern? Form 8. Iftialun. Huh? Now give me the verb. Intakala. What is the verb? Intakala. What is mudarya? Yantakilu. Huh? And then some file will be? Muntakil, the person who changed the residence or he moved. Okay, brothers and sisters, look at it carefully. What is the root? Nakala, to transport. Nakal, to transport. Huh? So, brother, how beautiful this is. When you say, Uska uh, intikal ho gaya, in the literal translation is, he died. But the actual meaning is, he moved his address. His residence. He is no longer the residence of this planet and he has now gone to live somewhere else, you know. And which will be Akhira, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. So see how beautiful this is? Tawaffa. Okay. I thought I should explain you. Very beautiful dua, brother. You should, inshallah, we will analyze the whole of the last, last ruku of Ali Imran. And, and you will feel such a solace in your heart. The du'as are just incredible. And who can teach these du'as? Only Allah can teach us, brother. No human being can, you can come up with these du'as. It is the Allah who with his great mercy has shown us these things. And we must memorize it and, and, and say it in our salah. You know, and our daily du'as, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, now we come to our majhul. Tawaffa. So where is the ain kalima? Yeah. No, yeah. Fa. Give it a kasra. First you give it a kasra. I am not putting any vowel signs. First I am putting a kasra here. What will happen to ya? It will become visible. What will it become, brother? It will become visible. To who? Okay. Fiya. Okay. One step at a time. Now what is our formula? That before and kalima, everything will get dhamma. Put dhammas now. To who fiya. Got the idea? See how it happened? 
Two dhammas. Why two dhammas? Because before Ain Kalima, any mutaharik letter will get dhamma. If there is a sukun, we'll leave it sukun. To wufia. Huh? What is the meaning of to huh? Tawaffa means someone caused someone to die. Huh? To wufia means he died. He died. To wufia. If I say to wufia fula fula nun. Huh? Okay, let me write down. To wufia fula nun. Fula nun means somebody. Huh? This is so common in Indian language. Falana bai, falana bai. So and so. Are you with me, brother Hassan? Huh? And in Urdu also we say falana. Means somebody. So, tuvufia fulanun means somebody died. Was caused to die. Somebody was caused to die. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, tuvufia is the, huh? fine. Now, if I say, Yatawaffa, Yatawaffa, okay, how do I make majhul? If I have to. Huh? See, what is the rule that before, before, Ain Kalima will get a fata. Is there a fata there? Yes. So, the, the uh, alamatu mudana will get a dhamma. Okay, let me give dhamma. And anything else will remain or get fata. Are there fata there? Khalas. So, what is your majul? Yutawaffa. Khalas. Yutawaffa. Huh? Huh? And what is lil ma'alum? Yatawaffa. Are you with me, sister uh, Maimuna? What will be the al-fayalul mudariyul lil ma'alum? Yatawaffa. Lil majahul? Yatawaffa. Now, because it is a new concept, you may find that it's not coming in your mind with ease. And if it doesn't come in your mind with ease, what shall I say, brother? It's normal. Uh, we have to make little extra practice, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then, inshallah, you will master it. Huh? Now, the last thing, brother and sister, yatawaffa. Huh? I want you to, I will write it again, brother. Yatawaffa. Okay. This is tricky. But I want to test your knowledge. Remember, the verb is nakes. Remember? So we should remember all the rules of making ism file and ism maful for the nakes verbs. Huh? Fine. Make ism file. Muta? Muta wafin. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Sister Rahima. Zadikillahu ilman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and all of us. With knowledge, huh? mutawafin, mutawafin, like this, huh? two kasra. And if I put alif, lam, then the ya will come out, al mutawafi. Huh? Now, brother and sister, people make mistakes because they don't know the language. They will even say for the person who died as mutawafi, no, brother, mutawafi is Allah subhanahu wa taala. Who is Mutawafi? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the person who died, what he will be called? Mutawafa. So people can make mistakes, brother, here. So it will be Mutawafan. Like Fatan. Mustashfan. Mustafan. Huh? Now, this is indefinite. Are you with me? What did I say? This is indefinite. Mutawaffa. But we will always pronounce it as mutawaffa. We say fata. It is actually fatan. We say fata. 
So mutawaffa. Who is mutawaffa? The person who died. And who is mutawaffi? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only he can cause someone to die. Nobody, you know, can take that authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That authority Allah has kept with himself. Nobody can share that authority. Uh, he is the supreme master of this universe and everything that he has created. So, mutawaffin is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mutawaffan is the person who died. And if you put here, al, brothers and sisters, then it will become mutawaf fa, like that. Huh? And if you put al here, brothers and sisters, huh, it will become al mutawaf fi. Okay? I just gave you a little taste of lesson number 22. Okay, brother. But inshallah, this is interesting. G? No, that is from uh, uh, sister, that is base form. Wafa'un, hai na? Wafa. Wafa'un. And wafat is also there, there, but that all base form. That is not applicable here. Huh? No, base form. From. from uh, Fail Sulasi Mujarat. Because the original one is Wafa. Uh, huh? Okay? This is your original. Huh? Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, I hope you found it interesting. You didn't get bored. Huh? Truly speaking, I was fascinated by these changes. And when I understood, I was so thrilled. That there is so much to learn eh, in the Arabic language. Arabic language is so beautiful, so vast, eh, and so interesting, and so logical and scientific. Eh, that we must, inshallah, learn. And this way, the Quran will appear in the most beautiful, you know, treasures. With his treasures. The, head, the, the treasures of the Quran are inside, huh? but it cannot appear until you learn the language of the Quran.